Everyone knows the thrill of buying something new, right? Maybe you got a really good deal and you have to tell everybody about it. Well, some people even joke about being a shopaholic, but for some, the shopping high can actually be more than just a fun day at the mall. It can be a sign that there is an underlying mental health disorder. And joining us this morning to talk more about it, licensed mental health counselor and our good friend Chantala Boss. Great to see you. You too. So, okay, what are the signs of this? Because we're all guilty of this, right? I, I mean, I yes. love to go into a store and be like, I cannot believe I just got. That dress for ten dollars, right? right? We all have that that sense of like accomplishment when we get a good deal on something. But when does it cross the line? Well, we're Americans. We're consumers. You know, we're used to that. We're used to consuming and to getting things and new stuff and being excited about it. So I think it is very confusing when it crosses the line. But when something turns into a mental health condition, it is when it everyday functioning becomes impaired due to whatever this behavior is. And usually, it's an overwhelming and irresistible urge to shop despite a lot of negative consequences that continue over time. We all make mistakes in shopping, maybe spend too much or get super excited, but this happens over an extended period of time, like about six months, where they're just in so much debt, family and friends, they're hiding things from family and friends, they're possibly hoarding, um, they're getting so many things that they're never able to use, and they're kind of having some secretive behaviors. So that's kind of what happens and as a result of maybe an underlying condition or an anxiety or depression that might be going on with a person. So it's, uh, you brought up the hoarding and I always yeah. think that's interesting to talk about because we all see the TV show and these extreme examples of hoarding but it, but it doesn't have to be extreme to be a problem right? I mean you could still be doing this on maybe a, a lower level and still have a mental health issue. Well it may not be visible. A lot of times it can be hidden. There can be lying. You know it's so easy to have the anonymous ability to shop online right. and nobody really knows. So it doesn't have to be hoarding necessarily, but if a person is lying about things or keeping things secretive and then so you may not even see all the things that they're they're keeping around. Yeah. Okay, so it, there are so many different types of addictions. We talk yes. about, you know, most people think of alcohol and drugs or gambling, but but this is a real addiction. What do you do if you're if you're watching this right now and you're like, "Oh gosh, I think I have a problem." Well, first is obviously looking at do you think you have a problem and why and so really understanding and trying to be self-aware and that's where therapy sometimes comes into play if you're like wow this problem is really causing a lot of issues in my life and in my relationships and my daily functioning I'm not able to pay the bills or keep the electricity on or you know I have so much debt that I need to look at this and it's what's going on internally with you right because there is always an underlying problem right you exactly. don't just become a shopping addict for no reason you don't and okay. Okay. Compulsive behaviors like compulsive shopping can also be very similar to other compulsive or obsessive behaviors. Sometimes a person will be very anxious and then as a result will shop. That will give them a sense of gratification or power, but then they'll drop back into depression due to the guilt and, and sadness. So it becomes a cycle really looking at that. Is that what's going on? And is it giving you a relief but then giving you greater anxiety? Okay. It, it is fascinating. Chantala, how can our viewers find you? My website is ChantalaBoss.com. All right. Great to see you. As always, thank you. you. As well. All right, 939. We're going to send it back to Bob now. Hey, Bob. Hey, hey.